visiting the Science Center. It's a great place to explore new things. I'm experimenting with light and shadows using shapes like circles and squares. When I put a shape on the board, it blocks the light. That's how it makes a shadow. And the cool thing is, each different shape makes a different kind of shadow. Check out my shadow card. I'm trying to pick shapes that will make the same kind of shadow. Let me show you how to play. First, I look at the card and decide what shapes I need. I click the square to pick it up. I move it to the glass and click again to leave it there. Next, I use the triangle. When I think I've got it right, I click the switch and... Whoa, it's a match! The square made the shadow on the bottom and the triangle made the shadow on the top. Cool! Now it's your turn. Great job! You used a triangle and a semicircle to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used a triangle and a square to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used a semicircle and a circle to block the light and make a shadow. <laughs> Watch out! Camel spit! Ew! Bleh! Here's another one. Great job! You used a circle, a semicircle, and a square to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used a semicircle, a circle, and a trapezoid to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a circle to block the light and make a shadow. <laughs> Look at the bunny hopping around the room! Here's another one. Great job! You used a trapezoid, a square, and two parallelograms to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used two half circles, a circle, a rectangle, and a square to block the light and make a shadow. Here's another one. Great job! You used a triangle, a square, a trapezoid, and a semicircle to block the light and make a shadow. <laughs> arf, 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 you want to play some more? <laughs>